All right, guys, I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Me and Caden's just out today, going to do a bit of ferreting. Some shooting. Got a few different frames with me. My favourite macho, my favourite target shooter, my favourite hunting frame. It's alright to have more than one, you know. I've got my long net set up, I'll just show you. Oh, I need it. Both sides. There's one down there. The rabbits can bolt the hedgerow and run that way. And there's one there. You can see the posts here well it blends in. The dogs after running full tilt under one I'm gonna have to fix it when I get home. There's the culprit. So it's got Freddy collared up. Already fair at Sandy. We're just going to pop him in first. Good boy, Freddy. He's pushed some rabbits out to me. Like and subscribe. Just got a red bull can hanging up in the tree there. If you can see it, you can't see it. I'll show it to you. There's one there. Hit the long net. That's where the dog broke the net. That's where the dog broke the net. Go and see if you can fix up that net, son. There's my red bull can. We have a few shots, just when we're waiting. I really do love this frame, guys. Adjustable fibre optic sights, really, really comfortable grip. The hammer grip, nice secure grip that is. Titanium forks. Spring loaded clips, really handy to attach the bands. The adjustable sights, they're absolutely magic, guys. I think some of these frames, these Chinese frames anyway, I think they're going to be the future of modern target shooting to be honest. Adjustable sights, they're, they're so hard to beat, you know. It's much better than just a reference off the fork tip, you know, that's my opinion anyway. Although, you know, a lot of them, because there's so many different features on them and they are so ergo, they're not very pocketable. Hence why I said, you know, this here's my main hunter. You know, look how thin that is. Still ergo, still comfy, point and shoot like that. 9.5mm steel, 8mm steel, whatever. This here's 8mm steel. I don't think I've ever even put a 9.5mm bearing through it. But, um... Fantastic cow pup. Ferret hasn't moved in a while. I was setting the long net up this morning. Not this morning, five minutes ago. I was setting this one here up, this green one. You can just about see it, setting that one there up. And the dog runs laps of the field. This long net is pretty new and I had just set it up, it's running through the hedge there, I had just set it up here and next thing the dog come flying up the field as hard as he could run and hit the fucking net and it, the net's not ripped but it, it's all come off the post so it's just there where that rabbit hit it is where the dog hit it, where it's not right and that's how that rabbit got away this morning how good would that have been to catch that first go? There's my can in anyway. Take another couple of shots.
8 mil steel guys it's it's a fantastic target ammo you have to be very very precise when you're hunting with it but you know you have to be precise with 9.5 mil steel as well I still recommend any new hunters use lead When you're using 10 mil lead, your shot doesn't have to be very precise. You know, you can get away with a, a shoulder shot or rib cage shot. Sometimes even a, a shot lower down, you know, if you if you break a hip or something. Although that isn't what you're trying to do. You know, you always want to be aiming for the head, but, you know, ammo that would be 4.5 grams in weight and up is a more forgiving ammo you know something like uh, the baby bean size they were 8 <coughs> eight mil by 11 mil <coughs> lead bean shot I used to be very fond of them I still got them old in the house I just don't bother anymore I'm lazy I just prefer to use steel but um, very forgiving ammo lots of damage on impact I'm probably going to cast a few up I've got another couple of frames coming I'm going to shoot wider bands and stuff just mess around for the fun of it i haven't shot lead in a long time but uh i'll pause the video it's dragging on a bit and we'll check back in we'll check back in if something hits the net all right copper mm -hmm. right guys i think we're gonna lift the nets and move somewhere else i've only got another couple of hours out I don't think we're going to get anything bolting here anymore. Good boy, come on, come on, <whistles> copper, go and check the net, good boy, good boy, here, here, good boy. Good boy, Cobber, good boy. <laughs>